We're going to go over the side lying hip shift drill designed to find the groin on the top side leg. Very important drill to teach you how to move into one side of your pelvis as you're walking. So very, very important that we get control over this side to side plane of motion that we're after. So to set up, he's going to be at a 90 degree position between all of his joints like this. Many times people don't set up deep enough with their hips close enough to the wall, so make sure that you, you get yourself with your bum adequately close. And your shoulder, oftentimes people will set up their whole body too far back, so we wanna make sure we're um, kind of relaxed for it. His rib cage is more relaxed. He's not flared and, and back extended. From here, what he's gonna do, he's gonna do the wrong thing first, just so we have an understanding. We're after feeling this top side groin muscle working, not the bum. So if, if JS pushes hard into the wall, push hard, you'll notice that his body wants to travel that way and his bum kicks on. We don't want to push into the wall during this exercise, so that's just the first thing to note. So his feet are going to remain pretty light on the wall and relaxed. And the first thing I want him to do is now squeeze this leg down into my hand here. So like he's trying to crush his other leg. From there, he's going to move his knee away from my finger, sliding back, always keeping the downwards pressure on his opposite leg. That should, as he pulls back towards his end range, find a groin right near his, his, his zipper, quite high up in his leg, and then he relaxes. So we're just going to go this through this slowly. His feet are nice and relaxed on the wall. He squeezes down and he pulls back, inhaling. Imagine this leg bone is sucking back into its socket, keeping the leg squeezed down over here. Great. So we should be able, again, make sure you don't push. Oftentimes people will find their bum. Keep that, those feet relaxed on the wall, pulling down. Now crush my hand here, squeeze down a little bit more. That's great, and relax. Now, to intensify this contraction, we went through the hip height drill before. So if he brings his knee backwards, and now keep that knee down and brings his hip towards his rib, so he hikes, and he can even take this hand now and reach towards the wall, and he's gonna keep his neck relaxed, and he's gonna squeeze down. He's just gonna hold this and really just find that end range. The more he closes down these ribs and keeps that knee squeezed, with a leg that's always pulling back, he should be finding that groin working very, very hard here. Great. So, common faults. Sometimes people will get a cramp on their bottom side hip. That's a muscle called the TFL. It sometimes tends to cramp. And what we just need to do with that is he's just going to flex down a little bit more. And I, I'd bring your whole body a little bit more forward even. So just bring yourself forward. And he could just do it in that position. Or he might need to just adjust his body further away from the wall or closer to the wall. He'll play around with it. But generally speaking, being a bit more here uh, should do the trick. And again, you're going to squeeze down and you're going to pull back for me. Excellent. Always maintain that downwards pressure or focus. Another common mistake would be that as he does this, his foot actually just moves on the wall. So we're, we're not after the foot. The foot stays super glued on the wall, and he's almost creating a backwards tension or pull in this direction. So he's, creating, he's imagining he's pulling back as he does that, but his knee stays down. Excellent. And so that's great. If you're not feeling the groin, a helpful thing would be to add in like a little cushion or tennis ball. So I'm going to put that between his knees. He's, so now he has a force or a reminder of a tactile pressure that he wants to push down this. And then he's going to slide that leg back, keeping it down and pulling back as far as he can. Good. And then, you know, exhale again and then inhale back even more. We're really trying to find those end ranges to teach the brain new ways of moving. So obviously you're going to do this on both sides, exploring and seeing how it feels from side to side, aiming to find the groins on both sides. Give it a shot, let us know how it goes.